good afternoon. <coughs> Getting back into Elder Scrolls. As you can see, I've had a haircut. And also, there's a bed behind me. So, I've got my sofa bed out because my sister is staying with me this weekend. So, yeah. It's a little cramped in here. And then we just fit in my chair. Just more if you wish to. May luck follow you. He's gone, which is good. Ah, what have Care to earn a little extra coin on the side? It's for a good cause. You, over here. Not now. Feel less bad about being a thief in the thieves guild than I do about this ass guild. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Frogs that breathe fire. Far out.
sounds like it's kind of cute though. Frogs. Traps everywhere. Can't fall asleep. The Iron Wheel here. Are they protecting Belsa? What's this? A message to Chief Inspector Rambeek. Can't see what it says. Damn it! Damn it! Change of plans. You need to see this. This message is to Chief Inspector Ron Beek. It's about an arrest order. Belsa's arrest order. Belsa was the last living person who could have placed the Iron Wheel on our trail. But it wasn't her. Of course it wasn't. Now I need to tell my least favorite... I can't stand her, but she was always one of our best. I could really use her help in restoring the Thieves' Guild. My eye just twitched. I need to control that around Belsa. Never show her your tell. I want to rush in, give the Iron Wheel a reason to fear us. But I'm in charge, and if I'm captured, the Thieves' Guild is dead. I can't believe I'm saying this, but... I need to fall back to the den while you warn Belsa. Show her the Iron Wheel's message. Tell her Nicholas is dead if you have to. Do what you can to bring her to the den. But if she refuses, leave her. Head to the upper levels and search for her villa. It's a bit of a maze, but look for a big garden. And watch for traps. Let's double checking volume. Hello. Hi. Um, sound. Hello. That's hopefully a lot better. Obnoxious and dripping with poison, just like her personality. If she hadn't retired, Nicholas would still be alive shouldn't say that. She's very good at what she does. The crocodile? Anything else down here that's interesting? Hmm. 
Wow, nama laung. I'm going to do an inventory space. Getting a bit full. Okay. Please not the crap immediately outside. Spare any coins. The traps aren't here yet. I'm guessing I need to get closer before I run into traps. Oh, shit. <laughs> Really know why I'm one of them. Oh, it's not increasing my bounty, which is good. I can get through there. Let's go over the top. Ah, there's one of those traps. Captain, so like a lieutenant. I could have stalled for this thing. and land directly upon your skull. I am retired. Well, sir, do not make me beg. It is unbecoming of our most profitable history. And who is this, Silverclaw? Who else befouls my garden? In all truthfulness, I have no knowledge. A friend? You have no friends. Uh, beyond my humble and mercantile self, of course. Hmm, you've made it past my traps. You're lucky, stupid, or quite skilled. I haven't decided which. Well, my god, what thieves guild? The Iron Wheel killed or branded a lot of them. Did your illustrious guildmaster send you? 
Tell Nicholas if he shows his face here, I'd have a mind to slap. Then he finally went through with his damned fool heist. So, give Master Zira sends a warning, does she? Nicholas barely in the ground, and she seeks to uproot the old cistern? Zira wouldn't warn me unless she wanted something. And I would like to see the quality of recruit she allows into her thieves' den. Ah, you showed interest. I'll consider that your agreement. The skittish Khajiit pretending not to eavesdrop is Silverclaw. Mm -hmm. Ask him why he needs our help. Meet me behind his old warehouse. After you know. What do you want, mate? I am most grateful for your timely and unexpected assistance. You see, my bountiful warehouse was taken. That is the question I keep asking myself. One day I arrived to find unfamiliar guards. They chased me from my own warehouse like a common dragon frog. Someone must have bribed my overseers. It does not matter. I need you to recover what was lost. What? No! <laughs> Did I fail to mention the ledger hidden in my old office? I may have lost my warehouse, but the ledger is worth twice that entire rickety building. If you help Vilsa restore it to me, I shall be... Then Thanks. I shall look forward to our next most auspicious meeting. the hell is the weaver? Got a spider cultist? Okay, can get that way. Right, not this way. Up the stairs, please.
you're here and relatively unskewered. Next is the significantly harder part. First, we sneak into the warehouse. Next, we observe our surroundings. Good, you can take direction. Did he tell you it's packed with dirt on merchants throughout Abba's landing? Right. How will you react when I bring her a grateful silver claw and his insidious ledger? I do hope it makes her eye twitch. Follow me and keep quiet. Braying orders to you. I meant Guildmaster Zira. But yes, we'll need to get past that overseer to reach Silverclaw's old office. First, you'll wait for me to get into position. Then you'll distract him so I can knock him on the head. Here, take this stink apple. An alchemically infused apple. Throw it hard enough and it breaks open, surrounding your enemy with a rancid bouquet of boiled netch farts. Yes. Try not to mess. Make your way past the guards. Silverclaw hid the ledger in his old office. We'll meet there. Now wait until... <laughs> Lift with your legs, not your back, you fool! Ah! What the... Sure spawns the stench! This way. Hurry! Alright, that wasn't actually possible. Turns out it was, I just needed to move and uh, I needed to maneuver correctly. Fuck. That was close. I'm not going to get in the office. Oh, it must be upstairs. Oh, it's like she's going to knock someone else out too. Well, someone's being tortured, maybe. No one here. Trying to cover up for your nap? Talkming is ever vigilant. There is an intruder in this warehouse. 
Akasha's people are on their way to inspect the warehouse. We don't have time for this nonsense. An explosion? Talk me knew something was amiss. Surprise, you fools. I'll collect silver claw. Meet us back at the thieves' den. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Like, who the fuck was that? Very different accent. There it was. An explosion! Run to the nearest tavern! Coming out of somewhere anyway. Not a walk, but. I can't leap over to there. God's still there. Fuck, that was close.
I'm sure there was a better path I could have taken, but... Oh, well. What the hell? I've got a bounty still? But I wasn't even caught. I want to get to the guild before I run into a guard so I can actually sell some of the shit I picked up. Looks like I'm probably good. I'll speak with Zira when I'm damned well ready. Don't rush me. The overseer mentioned someone coming to expect the warehouse. Kosh, was it? Must be a new player. Hadn't heard the name before I retired. It always comes to coin with the Abar's landing merchant laws. Consolidate the competition, lock them in a set of gilded chains, then profit. But not that warehouse. My distraction made it undesirable. My own concoction. When poured into a crate filled with sawdust, the crate emits a thick smoke. Any reasonable person would reach for a bucket of water to doubt. The deafening bang is the least of it. The smoke increases tenfold, mimicking the mating odors of the female dragon frog. <laughs> Every male dragon frog in the city should fill the warehouse by sunrise. Hope they confuse Kosh's shoe for a mate. Do you have the ledger? Was it all for naught? Oh, there is so much naught on your face. My heart shrinks in despair. But I am quite bad at riddles. Wonderful! Were my perfidious overseers inconvenienced in any way? I do so hope they are bereft of convenience. Yet the others who labored for me are blameless. Should they desire it, they... And now, to restore my fortune. believe I've had the pleasure. Spencer Rye, at your service. Rye's reacquisitions. I track down items that have gone missing. As you might expect, quite a bit. Other daily writs for thieves. I'm one of the Gergesi. Ah, you're the one that walks softly brought to our charming little... I don't really know the deep. A recent from... I do whatever it takes, my friend. Come. Your pockets look full, but they do not. New member. Great. Accounting. My sister and I. I'm going to stop. Twin, if you please.
back without Belsa? Hmm. Can't say I'm surprised. Yeah. I'm happy to hear Belsa plans to join. You could practice thinking with your mouth closed. Okay, here she is. Belsa, I'd recognize your grating voice anywhere. How is your retirement? Seems there are some troubles from which you can't run away. It's very relaxing, Guildmaster. Did you know I named a weed after you? It grows taller than it should and takes more water than its share from the plants around it. That's hard to believe. You were never the type of person to get your hands dirty. Oh, it's true. The Danazira weed thrives in the dark. I take great pleasure in cutting it down to size every day. Hey, well, I'm keeping the guild armor. At least she managed to get blood on it by accident. Just got word. A merchant lord named Kosh forced Silverclaw from his warehouse. Zira thinks Kosh is after the rackets our guild used to control. Zira should be in the dead. Wouldn't keep her waiting. The name is new to me, but we haven't been keeping as close an eye on the Merchant Lords as we used to. Whoever he is, he seems ambitious. All the time, our old guildmaster, Nikolas, was a master at playing them against one another. They spent so much time watching each other's moves, they never saw our own. The magnates who pretend to run Abba's Landing. They buy and sell to anyone. That's why the pirates offload their goods in this port. Take away all their riches, and they'd be little more than bandits. Something you need to know about why I'm in a bar's landing. When we first met, I said I needed a partner. I used to think my father was a merchant. When he vanished this year, mm -hmm. I left my academy to find him. It seems I knew very little of my father's profession. His time away was spent in a bar's landing, working with a thieves' guild. In his travels, my father brought notices to every outlaw's refuge in Tamriel, bounties for old relics <gasps> wanted by the thieves' guild. I realized I couldn't just ask them for his whereabouts. My plan was to steal the Giovesson skull, then trade it for information. Nobody recognized his name or description. Zira suspects he worked with one of the thieves who died in the dowry heist. They used to keep guild associates secret. It seems only Nikolas knew how all the pieces fit together. Rotten luck. They must have seen it. The last relic sought by the thieves' guild would make a tempting target. The iron wheels simply had to wait. I didn't think anyone would get hurt, and I didn't mean to put you in their sights. Walk Softly remembers the Thieves' Guild sold many relics to Lady Sulima of Abar's Landing. My father must have been the one to broker the sales. I want to break into her mansion and pick up on his trail. Meet me by Lady Sulima's mansion when you're ready. I'm not religious, but I said a prayer to Oreo this morning. If we find nothing, I have no idea. The last time I asked around, the Iron Wheel set a trap for us in Falstrom Homestead. This time, I listened. Lady Suleiman rarely leaves her estate, and has a connection to one of the Merchant Lords. Must be why the city guards...
I'd leave that alone if I were you. Don't worry, I don't plan on stealing stuff right now. Get your filthy paws off me. Damn. I should have sung the percentage and not bothered. Shit, I do. Ah. Cut almost walked straight into a guard. Mm, looks like the guard's distracted. Quick.
There's no freaking way this is gonna work. Ah. The wrong way anyway. How do I get through here? I'm gonna go past the guard. Figured if I'm practicing sneaking, I might as well sneak to avoid a bounty as well. I've up here before. And so I have to go through the gate. Damn, I should have cleared it. Is a bounty. No freaking way this will work. I stand corrected. Damn I almost did it. Well, it was a lot smaller than I started it with. Oh god. what we're going to find inside after Fulstrom homestead i keep thinking the iron wheel is around every corner all right give me a moment to unbar the gate <gasps> all right it's open come on in Dragon frogs are freaky.
And I'm not sneaking around, I gotta remember to check my mail. Jesus, all the pins are in the same spot. Hello, I see you. That's why the hiding spot here. one of the reasons. How the hell do we get upstairs?
No more warnings. Get out! Thing is, how the hell do I get past her? Wait until the guard makes you pay for trespassing. Monster orders our hatchlings murdered. I spit in Queen Irem's eye. This is your last chance to leave before the guard arrives.
Alright, I'm mainly excited because I'm trying to be careful. I gave that to my father after a holiday in Skywatch. He kept it with him for luck. What is it doing here? My father gave me that book when I was a child. At his last visit, he took it to have it rebound. Why is it in this woman's I found something too. A necklace with an old key. My father wore this wherever he went. And if there's a key, there must be a lock. Over here! You! Why do you have my father's things? To walk as Riff! Seroldo's daughter stands before me. Why are you in Avar's Landing instead of your academy? I'm looking for my father! Why do you know who I am? My dear child, he's gone. When the Iron Wheel came for him, he fled to the rooftops. They gave chase and he fell. I'm so sorry. You're lying! No, child. I grieve for him every day. He was the only person I ever loved. You are a friend to Seroldo's daughter? This must be much for her to take in. Please, Quinn. What a lovely name. It's the first time my ears have heard it. Seraldo kept all but the simplest details. After Seraldo's death, the Iron Wheel learned of our connection and sent a letter requesting an interview. What fortune I possessed now goes to the mercenaries guarding my home. Should I leave the manor, the Iron Wheel will certainly detain me. I wondered that as well. Seraldo did his private work in this room, and recently I had it searched. I found a ledger, but I can't make sense of the... I am most thankful. I only trust my guards as long as I can pay them. Mm -hmm. So you would do best to leave discreetly. There's a hidden exit to the street. And Quen is welcome to visit, should she ever desire it. I'll be outside. <laughs> so I didn't need to trespass. Seroldo had a... Can you stop it so that your guards won't... Bloody attack me. Oh, okay. <gasps> What's wrong with me? I'm a heart. It must be important if the Iron Wheel wants it. Father did love his puzzles.
Try that again, and I'll stick your head on a pike. Uh -oh. I failed. And still, cr so infidel dog. The infidel dog has paid the bounty. Try that again, and I'll cut you. It is unwise to do such things when there are witnesses. Altist. Jesus, I don't feel bad about robbing them. How's a cultist? Be a decent target. Kind of bad for that one. Hopefully, if um a guard catches me, I don't lose the treasures. Hey, you 
skulking skeever knock it off a witness did not expect to get attacked I have little time to waste. Okay, I'm just gonna chill here for a little bit. Not cool down. I gotta try and avoid the guards.
so busy. I wish everybody was making the same effort. Let's see what you got. Mm. Been busy, my friend. Nothing is lost in Abar's landing. you are. Remember Velsa's friend, Silverclaw? He is quite grateful you recovered his ledger. Seems he kept his ears open for word of that merchant lord, Kosh. If Kosh took over Silverclaw's warehouse, he's grabbing the rackets we used to control. And if he's after our old business, there's a good chance he's hungry for even more. Skuma trade, slavery, things we never touched. Before we give Kosh a swift kick to the coin purse, I want you to find out just how dirty his hands are. I sent the others ahead to do some groundwork. Start with Walk Softly. Look for him near the harbor. I sent Quen to her own task, and Velsa too. Didn't even second guess me. She must be up to something. When Nicholas was Guildmaster, I convinced him to stop dealing with skooma peddlers. No matter my own thoughts on that poison, it's bad for business. And the Thieves Guild never dealt in slaves. Good. One of the few things Velsa and I agree on. Not enough. Some of the merchant lords prefer to bide their time in obscurity, using trusted servants to handle their affairs. Then they reveal themselves, like a beetle in a pudding. Whatever Kosh intends, he's no longer keeping to the shadow. She's being paid. Right on time. What did our esteemed guildmaster tell you? Good, because I found something. The captain of the Dream Snake was always interested in making fast coin. She's sloppy, even for a pirate, which makes her a perfect target for Kosh. She and I have unpleasant history. Best I keep away from her.
She's meeting a contact nearby. She's prone to boasts. Why not find a quiet place to hear what she has to say? But the captain is a creature of habit. She used to keep documents secured in the Dream Snake. Try there if you don't care to eavesdrop. Find what you can. After that, meet Quen near the harbor. She has her own task and will no doubt need your assistance. I once told the captain I was a wealthy Argonian prince seeking a fast ship to transport my riches. Oh, no. Nice. We inspect the smuggling compartments. And then I robbed her blind. She just has one eye patch, so. Half blind. I left her the eye patch. Harpy egg. They're sickening. I'd never actually eat one, but they're garish enough to draw attention from me. People see the Argonian with disgusting harpy eggs, not the Argonian with amazing fashion sense. People must be told to this cash. We were at sea. Why reveal our skooma supplier to some merchant lord who wants a cut? It doesn't matter. This cash demander may come along and know she has a citadel. The Iron Wheel's headquarters? How is he involved with... No, don't tell me. Best you meet him before the Iron Wheel sends soldiers after us both. Dice. Zira said I should wait for you when I was finished. Well, I'm finished. The flooded district near where Belsa called home? 
The people who lived there had nowhere to go after the floods. One of the dockyard bosses offered them work. That's what I told Zira. Mm, but the slavers. If Zolguk had an altruistic bone in his body, he'd cut it out and sell it. I'd already know what he was really up to if Zira trusted me. But she wanted me to scout and you to do the fight. Zolguk arranged a meeting with an imperial client at a nearby inn. Might be worth a listen. Oh, the inn rents a room to Ventilius Proximus, the most imperial name I've ever heard. <laughs> Probably the client. The room's lock seemed inadequate. Find Belsa when you're done. She's meeting with Silverclaw at his shop. Did you know he had a shop? I wonder what he sells. It's nothing. I... how could it not be? It's so difficult to care about all this. If I studied harder at the academy, I'd have graduated sooner. I know, I know, but when I tell that, that's good to hear. This Kosh know of our business. I have no idea. But if you can't deliver warm bodies, I'll find another supplier. Then pray hmm. return from Noshira Citadel. If Kosh is connected to the Iron Wheel, we're both doomed. It sounds like a necromancer. Through here before. Ah, my Larsimus friend, quickly, we must speak. A most regrettable welcome, for I have such unfortunate tidings. What I soon reveal. Ah, the look on your face is unmistakable. It says, if I may speak for your most resplendent face, peace, my exceptionally sleek mercantile friend. Take a series of deep, relaxing breaths so you may reveal the matter at hand. In out. Velsa left for Noshira Citadel. She made me promise upon our long and profitable friendship not to reveal this, but your vigorous interrogation left me no choice. I do not know why she travels to the headquarters of the Iron Wheel, but I go after her, of course. But you are so striking. The Iron Wheel will know you don't belong. It is settled. You shall meet with me. Velsa assured me she would not venture beyond the outskirts of Noshira Citadel. Assured me. Oh my. With all certainty, she is already captured. A cherished friend. Though not always. Once, we were fierce rivals for the importation of fine silk. Yet, he proved the gracious victor and reimburses for any referral to this day. A cherished former rival in all truth, but quite magnanimous. <laughs> Mate, you lost, but here's some money. Right, I'll be back. I'm gonna pick my washing and fill my water up if I can actually get out of here.
Ah, oh, I forgot my water. American. While I'm here, hold still. Your attire is... Oh, did he now? There's something striking, so you stand out at the next Merchant Lord's soiree. Or a ridiculous, crenellated affair that leaves you the talk of the brothel? Well, if you wanted a burial suit, the Iron Wheel charges far less than I. Though perhaps... Yes, a servant's outfit will let you go hither and yon, at least above ground. And if it's one of my creations... Well, then I'd assume you're from a bar's landing. But I know of a certain individual who has yet to pay the bill for just such an outfit. If you happen to reacquire it on my... I'd prefer you deprived my shirker of his outfit. I'd prefer you deprived my... Sh Paranoia, of course. No servants are allowed in... I am physically capable of doing so, but it will never happen. I'd rather not end up in a prison cell. And a uniform alone won't serve as a disguise. They have too many signals and mannerisms. Why, well, you'd be spotted in an instant. Well, Jesus, I look like a criminal or a servant.
can't you see I'm busy? So, you got Silverclaw to spill a secret. At best, a minor accomplishment. He didn't send you to that powdered hornbill, did he? Buy a spe... You do know he gets referral for everyone he sends to that flax peddler? Even when he thinks my life is in danger, Silverclaw still works the angles. You bumpkin. Yes, I did. You're not supposed to throw my words back at me. Reminds me of Nicholas. I don't care if you are her protege. I'm not going to do Zira's scut work. I slipped a truth serum to Silverclaw's former overseer. I learned that Kosh blackmails assorted scum and draws them to know Shira Citadel for a meeting. So let's find out why. It seems Kosh contacts little fish from a position of power, threatens exposure, and bends them to his will. Elegant. What I'd do. But his connection to the Iron Wheel isn't clear. That troubles me. We... Now that Zira's protege is here, poor old Velsa can rest her weary bones. Find a way into the Iron Wheel's headquarters and learn how they're connected to Kosh. Zira tells me you're a thief. Go break into a place you shouldn't be. Take something valuable and leave before they notice. I did hear something about a past phrase for a service door. Look around, use your brain. When you find what you need, get out and head back to the den. Don't get caught, and if you do, bite off your tongue before their torture forces you to shriek my name. Nothing worth my... They move away and then they turn around again. Damn it.
What is the fate of a lawbreaker? What is the fate of a lawbreaker? What is the fate of the unrepentant? What of those who would deny their fate? Enter and find peace. Did I get lucky? I thought my shift would never end. Wait, who are you? Don't hurt me. I'm not even an officer. Please, I'm no... Thank the gods. You will have no trouble from me. You were never here? I... I have a sleeping draft. One sip helps me through the night. The whole... chance to consider my proposal or i hand these documents to the iron or Maiden. else what they do so frown on slavery what? or i hand these documents to the iron wheel they do so frown on slavery and school really? take a moment to consider good then i shall make your documents disappear what my papers were here I'll attend to that after my meeting with Chief Inspector Rondi. Do remember who holds your records. I can locate Magnifica Falora's dowry. I can return it to you within the fortnight. And what is your interest in the matter? Exactly. The Iron Wheel must leave Hughes Vein. He is simply bad for business. If you recover Magnifica Falora's dowry, I can guarantee our return to Tanith. There is another minor request. Hardly a trifle. Perhaps we can discuss it over drinks? I do not drink. Then I shall take your share. Come, an office is no place to do business.
He didn't mean to do that. Are there any? Because there's so many treasures here. Let me loot in the place. You know, fucking piranhas. Crap. Okay. Of the water. About fifty a day, I think. You see, Zero, your 
protege returns having survived the invulnerable iron wheel. He should have more faith. Everyone, clear the room. Velsa told me you went into the Iron Wheel's headquarters by yourself. We're not ready to go anywhere near the Iron Wheel. I won't have anyone else die because of a choice. Listen, I'm barely holding this together. No offense to Quen, but you're the best recruit we have. I can't lose you to a feud with Velsa. You're right. I shouldn't take this out on you, or her, no matter how good it feels. Yeah. All right. You risked your neck and survived to tell the tale. Did you find anything we can use? One thing, count. Impossible. It's still in Magnifica Flora's family tomb. The dowry heist failed. Nicholas and the others died before we reached the treasure vaults. No, the Iron Wheel was here to punish us for attempting the heist. But if that's what you heard, are they really searching for the dowry all along? Why come after us with such ferocity? What else did you learn? Let me see. Hmm. This is comprehensive. Elaborate details on merchant lords in Abba's Landing, as well as rivals throughout the region. Maps to stolen goods we could recover for ourselves. I'll go through what you recovered, see if it offers a clue to Kasha's plans, or anything involving the missing dowry. I need to make sense of all this. Get some rest. I'll need you ready when we make our move. I keep thinking about what you found. If someone stole Magnifica Falora's dowry, it wasn't the thieves. We certainly took the fall for it. What about? Nicholas told Velsa he was planning a heist, but she retired before he shared the details. I'm the only one who knew. The merchant lords see the Iron Wheel as an <laughs> occupying force. They fear Tanith wants to conquer Abba's Landing. This way. Zira's looking for you. Didn't seem to hurt. You know of our botched raid on Magnifica Falora's tomb. But the Iron Wheel is here to recover her missing dowry. So, if you know where to find Zira. I know Zira doesn't like to talk about it. Lost the best of the guild to that folly. Nicholas thought he could steal Magnifica. Nicholas was wrong. Everyone died but Zira. For a guild master, he should have known better than someone pinned the blame on the guild. 
used to think. The Iron Wheel wanted revenge for us trespassing in Magnifica Falora's family tomb. But you think I know a lick about dowries? <laughs> you trying to flirt me? A dowry is like a bar tab. No. That battle looks like a bloody dragon stink. Took your time, didn't you? I... I need your help. I was in the market when someone... A folded sheet of paper unsigned. It was only a few lines wishing me well. But when I unfolded the sheet, an old pressed stargazer peony fell out. That. It's a flower. I was just like it blossomed all around my family home. But I left my family behind a long time ago. You consistently demonstrated a lack of incompetence. Find out if my family sent that letter. I didn't part on the best of terms, so it could be a trap. Decades ago, I was Velsa Arundis of House Drez. Yes, the one built on the spoils of the slave trade. When I fled, I released dozens of slaves. Mm. gave them gold from the house treasury. I regret not seeing the look on Mother's face. But nothing else. Yes, but I didn't realize it then. I was taking a merchant to task for her prices when a half-naked Nord bumped into me. That's when it happened. He fled before I could give him a piece of... Right, I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, oh, actually. I'm going to hop off, make dinner, clean up, and all that fun stuff. But I should be back on later, most likely. Um, but yeah. Until then. I will. I will see you later.